Hey, hey, we're back with Lost Ark Storylines. Uh, yeah, South Wern was uh, released yesterday. So we're gonna head in there and do some more story content. So, yeah, let's uh, just head into it. There you are. I'm going to join the Magic Society one day. Did you see that new spell? Where in Arcasia did Commander Avel go? Oh, aren't you Rerik? I heard a lot of you from Her Majesty. I am Skedia, a magic scholar. I came you came at just the right time. Rerik, you're close to Commander Avel, right? Next time you meet the commander, will you deliver this letter? This shouldn't be tolerated. He can't just disappear like that. Dear Honorable Knight, Commander Avell of the Lunar Knight, as you have not replied to my first, second or third message, I am again sending you a letter seeking your opinion. As you are undoubtedly already aware, a joint military training between the Magic Society and Lunar Knights, using the newly upgraded God Hands, is set to take place soon. Please provide us with the confirmation of a detailed plan of the event at the earliest possible date. Should your, reply, should your reply continue to be delayed, this test may be replaced by a joint training with the Senate. Please take this into account. For Her Majesty, Queen Aileen. We must show everyone that Vern will never back down. But if things continue like this, the Senate's night will. Ugh, I don't even know. I don't even care what happens anymore. Knights in the Senate? Oh, so you didn't know? It's a group that the uh, Senate created on their own recently. It'd take too long to explain why this is a problem. Hmm, no wait. I'll just show you the minutes from the Senate session that day. You can take a look and decide for yourself. Face the reality. Elviria's barrier has been broken. Forever. Then who can protect our people now? But the magic They're society already busy and the, the knights are... But south is a different story. The president is right. The south is not their priority. We can't leave everything to the Sylvain's magic. Any last words before we take a final vote? Honorable members of the Senate, the time has changed. We humans must not protect the lives and the wealth of humans with our own hands. For this new mission, we require a new weapon. A weapon that can crush all threats that lurk to the south of our lands. Uh, yes, I am talking about the Black Knights. You see? The Black Knights blatantly defy everything that Vern stands for. 
How did Vern, a country of harmony and cooperation, get to this point? Although the words sound noble and just, all the Senate is doing is dividing us. And those old men have no interest in magical weapons, they're too busy plundering the budget. And now they're suddenly interested in parading god hunts? I can only see this as a political agenda, propaganda. Do you now see why we're so against them? Can't you just refuse it? The society has no such authorization. Knight Commander Vell needs to oppose it. And just as uh, at such an opportune moment, the commander of the Lunar Knights disappeared without trace. Rerik, I beg you, please go to the Lunar Knights and find out what she plans to do for the joint training. If it weren't for the fossils in the Senate watching my every step, I already would have. When was the last time I saw her? I'm not sure. Are you here to meet the commander? You might as well give up, adventurer. The commander has left her post. She did not tell anyone where she was going, so there's no way to find her. Here's a letter from Skadia. Damn, so it's come to this. We're also forced to just stand by, so it's f quite frustrating for us all. This is all because the commander ran away and um, disappeared. We can't exactly reveal this to the public. If only the commander were here, things would have gone off without a hitch. We should probably inform Her Majesty, right? The Knights need to be the pillar of strength at a time like this. Though the Commander is absent, we cannot postpone the report any longer. Could you ask Her Majesty what we should do in regards for joint training?
Your face seems troubled. What's wrong? Ugh. Avel can't be blamed for this. This is... the blame does not lie with Avel. Avel is currently on a secret mission, under my order. Since I told her to leave without telling anyone her destination, the Order and the Magic Society don't know her whereabouts. However, I didn't expect so much time to pass without any message at all. It seems we need to take care of this matter. The only choice I have now is... Hmm... If I lead the joint training on behalf of the Knights, everyone will understand. Rerik, will you visit the Senate on my behalf? Deliver my will to Senate Speaker Alberto. Hey everyone, how's it going? All clear. Halt. He did indeed. I have a fucking headache though. It sucks ass. But it is what it is. Satra is speaking. Those who are not allowed by the Senate may not enter. Please leave. I mean, black knights running around with fucking sights and shit. Uh, yeah. They don't exactly look friendly. <laughs> the Queen's knights are truly full of themselves. Yeah, I have some stuff I need to do as well. I need to do the dishes and fucking repot re my chili plants and stuff, but I fucking have no energy. The time when rebels like you could do as you wish is over. We Black Knights will protect and maintain Vern and her order. <laughs> What's going on here? My apologies. Our young friend here didn't recognize the hero and showed you disrespect. That guy fucking looks like uh, an evil bastard. I'll have a talk with uh, him later. Please forgive him, Rerik. Identify yourself. Hmm, is this the first time we're meeting like this? I'm Hager of the Senate. Well, but what brings Rerik to the Senate? The joint training will be led directly by the Queen. Hmm. A wise move. <clears throat> no one will be able to object Her Majesty, who personally led Moonkeep in the past. If that's the case, the Knight and the, of the Senate also lose the pretext to participate, so they won't be able to force things in their favor. Haha, <laughs> the Queen is truly brilliant. That way? I mean the anti-Queen faction. Vern's Senate is currently split into two factions. The majority of the Senate is part of the anti-Queen faction, in excluding myself and a few senators that followed me. Moreover, Speaker Alberto and the Deputy Speaker Satra are leading that faction. During times like these, those loyal to Her Majesty must join forces and support her. I will lend a hand too. It gives me strength to hear you say that. Please enter, if I could. I would have uh, loved to show Rerik the way myself. Unfortunately, I have urgent business to attend to. It's a shame. I bid you farewell. 
Let's go to the manor. He's preparing for the next speech. Let's go to the podium. <coughs> you were still in Vern. What do you want? Why am I not surprised that Commander Avell is nowhere to be seen? We're in the middle of a disaster with the Guardians right now. Where could she have gone? <laughs> no matter. The Senate Knights are more than capable of handling things. And yet, the Queen seems to have decided that we are to have no part in this. Hundreds of years have passed since Vern was established. But... And still... The Queen does not trust us. I wonder what. Hmm. I agree. <laughs> hmm. With faces like that, I wonder why people don't trust you. Doesn't it all make sense now? Her Majesty has no intention of using the powerful force we've prepared for defending Vern. That is unfortunate. Right now, Elveria has fallen and Vern lies exposed to the threats of the demons. We cannot guarantee the safety of the people, even with all of Vern's might. Why would Her Majesty refuse our measure? If she insists on placing her trust in that Sylvan Order and the Magic Society, we have no choice but to seek our own defense. Please tell Her Majesty. We will follow her, but the Senate finds the decision very unfortunate. If the Knight Commander is missing, the Lunar Knights should naturally fill her role. The Knights are uh, mostly comprised of young people who volunteered to fight for the sake of Vern. So please look at this from our point of view. How unjust is this? <laughs> Isn't this blatant discrimination? Knight, are you heading to the sun? The atmosphere in Vern Castle is quite tense at the moment. The Black Knights are camped around the Senate, claiming that their purpose is to police. Vern Castle is already being protected by the Lunar Knights. This is an act of deception to the Lunar Knights and the Queen. There is already a rumor within the castle that there are those who sympathize with the Southern Senators. Of course, anyone with a conscience is worried about the Queen. Since everyone will be acting cautiously in front of the Lunar Knights, can you investigate this further? I'd like for you to find out the public sentiment to the, in the trade district near the Senate. Ah, oh, greetings, Queen's Knight. It's an honor to meet you. I'm Velen, a knight in charge of guarding Vern Castle. We need your help. Do you know where Avel is? I don't know either. I see, it's not good that even you don't know where she is. Uh, ah, now that I think about it, let me properly introduce myself. I'm a guard and a member of the Lunar Knight, led by Commander Avell, Velen. Uh, Commander Avell disappeared in, uh, is a common occurrence, but this is the first time she's gone for this long without telling us no. Uh, with the atmosphere around the Senate becoming suspicious, I ended up being disrespectful to you. I want to learn more about the Lunar Knights. I heard that once upon a time, there were also an solar knights that protected Vern alongside ours. That order no longer exists. Currently, we're in charge of protecting North Vern and Vern Castle. When Commander Avell was here, we held firm in our duty. Right now, everyone that kept us together is gone. 
The Solar Knights no longer exist. That order was disbanded long before I joined, so I'm not sure about the exact details. If the Lunar Knights or the Shield of Vern, the Solar Knights would have been Vern's spear. It was apparently disbanded after the battle against Necromancer Sigmund, but I don't know exactly why they were disbanded. I believe there might be records of the order within Vern Castle. They keep an extensive written record of the history of Vern outs inside the castle. Also, if you find a well, please tell her to return. Tell her we'll be here defending the castle, no matter how difficult it may be. You're the Queen's Knight. I have no ill feelings against you, but why now? It'll take too long to tell you the full story, so I'll make it short. If I show any kindness to those associating with the Queen, the Senna's wrath will be upon me. The information you seek will be here, so go ahead and search through the shelves. There should be about three volumes uh, about that man. Clear. All clear. Oh, if we use this as a power source? Oh, not bad. It'll be a great pommel ornament. The Black Knights, why are you suddenly asking such a question? Hmm, well, some people say it's wrong for the Senate to drag the Black Knights into the castle, but honestly, I don't really know. With the magic barrier protecting Vern disappearing, and Guardian Vergris awakening, I think it would be best to have more troops protecting the castle. It's difficult to say, just like how the Lunar Knights fill the vacancy left by the Solar Knights, the Black Knights will fill the spots left by the Lunar Knights. And these days, magical specialty items are sold like hotcakes. And uh, we don't know what the future holds. It would be best to stay prepared. All Why clear. does it take so much to make a potion? Oh, so what brings you all the way here? You're in the process of learning about the Black Knights. I find them so unpleasant. 
This is Vern Castle. How dare these armed forces enter without the Queen's permission, saying that they're here to keep public order. We who can believe those Senate bastards. Anyway, why are you asking? The Lunar Knights are word. Ah, if it's a request from Corbett, then I understand. Actually, I'm Jeremiah of the Lunar Knights. I'm off duty today, and after hearing that the Black Knights were strutting around the area, I figured I'd take a stroll and come check it out for myself. What's surprising is that there's, there seems to be some noteworthy faces within the Knights and the Senate forces. In particular, the aide following around Senator Alberto is someone who had served the Queen for several years. What's going on? Was the Senate able to tempt them with something alluring? Since I'm unable to go inside, could you go and find out instead? Yes, I'm Senator Alberto's aide. I'll answer any questions if I can help. Did you assist the Queen before? Yes, for the past few years I served the Queen in Vern Castle, but I now work for the Senate. Well, uh, rather than having any particular reason, I don't believe the Senate is heading towards a different path. Cooperation and harmony are the founding philosophies of Vern. Without realizing it, the Southern Senators want to eliminate the customary discrimination in the South. They want a Vern where they can e equally coexist with the Vern Castle and the Sylvains in the north. Like how the Queen and Magic Society and the Castle Knights have defended Vern until now, the young men from the south also fought to protect Vern. Southerners pride themselves on building up their country in a barren land, although they weren't recognized for it for a long time. I don't think it's necessary to look at everything negatively when the country is in crisis. I'm proud to be a southerner. It would be good in Vern, good if Vern, a place where various people lived together, could learn to understand the hearts of the southerners who survived in a land that was neglected by the country.
<laughs> Explosive Robin Hood. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the title for our artillerist, I guess. I like mine uh, explosive artist better, but yeah. Did you have a good talk with the Senate? I knew it. I knew it. I knew the Senate was against me. It is not your fault, don't worry. I need some time to think. There is no time to think. Let's act! Oh, you What did the Lunar Knights say? What about Commander Ravel? Her Majesty the Queen is coming for the train. What a relief. Those senators are shameless. It seems it would be difficult to see Her Majesty right now. I'll have to come back another time. I had something to show her. A strange phenomenon has been detected in South Vern. Hmm, maybe you could be of help. Perhaps an observant adventurer like you could pro can provide some in useful insight. Care to take a look at this report? President, it's because of Vergris. You do have a point. This is the first time I've seen a phenomenon like this. We were tipped off by some adventurers in the south. This is the first anomaly we've observed outside of South Vern's barrier. As you can see, it looks like a giant wound in the sky. Even though I want to investigate, South Vern is the senator Senate's territory, making it near impossible for me to intervene. Oh dear, it seems like Her Majesty is calling for you. You should hurry. You may approach. You may approach? What the fuck? I do whatever the fuck I want. You know this. I come and go as I want. Avel is currently in South Bern. In recent years, the actions of the Senate have become increasingly suspicious. I tried to mediate at first. However, the reports coming from the South weighed heavily on my mind. That's why I sent Avel to investigate the South. Why did you keep it a secret? The Senate is gradually closing itself off. If I were to go public with the investigation now, the opposition would only grow more severe. I never thought I'd lose contact like this. I'm starting to worry that something has happened. Ririk, will you go to South Vern and search for Abel? I'll gladly accept. Thank you. Take this. Simply place it near any communication device and it'll be able to com and I'll be able to communicate with you as long as you're within Vern. It also possesses the power to heal, so it will be useful. You should head to Rania village and meet with Gideon. 
As time is of the essence, a guide who knows about the south is essential. Show Gideon my token, and he'll help you, no questions asked. I'll go right away. <laughs> One last thing. There's a pseudonym that Avel used each time she was on a mission. It's Rose Petal Presto. Don't forget it. Rose Petal Presto. Yes, it was a pseudonym that Avel enjoyed using. It is with a heavy heart that I entrust this to you. Please be careful and come back safely. Don't worry about me. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Hey! Whew. How long has it been since I left Illusion Bamboo Island? I feel so much better. Why are you in work? Heh, I'm on an important mission from the old man. Since chasing after Kai Shooter, the old man has been keeping an eye on Vern. Don't try to pry any further. The rest is a secret. I'm turning over a new leaf as a genuine hero. Haha. -ha. Wait, what's that coming toward my back? Oh. Ouch! Hmm. Why aren't you on your errand? I have something to discuss with you. Come to Yuki's Tavern before you leave the village. And Silvail, you idiot. How many times do I have to tell you not to mess around? You can get back to tending on your business. It seems I need to teach my troublesome student a lesson. Hey, stop poking me, it hurts! It hurts. The necromancers have appeared again. Valorin? So he's a bad guy. Valencar Mountains have been drenched in blood. Those damn necromancers. Rurik, we meet again. As you can see, the remnants of Sigmund's. Sigmund showed up and attacked the adventurers. We were only able to save a few. That's what the most we could do. Balancar Road was originally a place the rangers guarded. Every breath those cursed necromancers take is an insult to my dead companions. I'm going to patrol Balancar Road and completely block the area around it. If you're heading to Balancar Mountains, be very careful. The remnants of the necromancers still linger. The guild's suffering heavy damage due to the necromancers' attack. I would like you to help out with the recovery effort. Ah, you're already helping. Please distribute the HP potions to the adventurers. <coughs> Blood! This human bleeds! Stop bleeding! It doesn't hurt anymore. Uh, 
I'm saved. Thanks to you, we can avoid having a critical lapse in guild requests. Thank you for your help. Gideon is in the office inside. <sighs> what? Bankrupt You're like going this. to the south? Do you have any idea how dangerous that area is right now? The security there has been taken over by some fools called the Black Knights or something, so we have very little influence there. You'll be wise to avoid the Senate as much as possible. They're the ones with all the power and wealth. It's impossible to go south right now. Why did you suddenly decide to go south? What? What? <clears throat> if it is the Queen's order, I'd gladly shave my beard. But you don't have a beard, what the fuck? Or am I blind? So what you're saying is that Commander Vell went missing somewhere in the south. You've received orders from Her Majesty. And now you're here because you want me to introduce you to a guide. I understand. I'll pick the best person for the job. Let's see. Who'd be a good fit? Ah, I could send Zirion. He's a perfect fit. He also knows quite a bit about the south. Looks like Sirion is in for a nasty surprise. It's clear as day that he'll be having a tough time. Here, take take a look at his profile. Despite his appearance, he's very talented. This guy, he's been nagging me for the past few days. He's been asking to go on a mission with you. It's strange, considering he's more or less been a lone wolf until now. If I remember correctly, he's been asking since the Festnor Highland incident. The reason why is no, none of your our business. What's important is that he is a capable guide. The magic and tools he has are quite unique. It's just, he can be a bit clumsy. So how about it? If you're going to take him... Sign here. Good. I'll send Zerion to Mountain Pass, so meet him there. Gatekeeper Terry will tell you how to get up there. Do you have, do you have to go through Balancar Mountains? Right, all the roads to the south are blocked by those black tin cans. Isn't that, isn't this a clandestine mission? That means you need to be inconspicuous, right? So you need to go off the beaten path. It should be fine, as long as you follow the old abandoned roads. Probably. And wait a second. Since you'll pass through Kandaria territory, yes, if you're lucky, you might be able to join up there. With who? So about the white tin can. The one that uh, still claims that he's Star, the commander of the fallen solar knights. Well, he's on a mission nearby. Let's see, what else is there? Right, Serion is always carrying an hourglass, so you should be able to tell who he is right away. There is, there are still necromancers remaining in the mountain pass, so be careful. Okay then, don't forget the contract. Now go. Good luck out there. Solar Knight, it seems you're curious. In the beginning, I couldn't believe it either. Including the Knight Commander, the Solar Knights were quite an amazing group. Anyway, this happened hundreds of years ago. It's very much part of the past. It would probably be useful for you to know it too. I'll tell you everything I know. The Solar Knights were the protectors of the royal family. They were the ones who ultimately stopped Sigmund, the Necromancer. Most knights 
died that day, including Thar and the surviving knights. After the battle, they disbanded the Order. This is a record of the battle with Necromancer Sigmund a hundred years ago. We must prepare thoroughly so that a situation like this doesn't happen again. As you may know, things in Vern Castle have become a bit dangerous these days. First, we need to make sure the adventurers re remain calm. Right, we need to take care of the guildmates first. Is that what it means to be a guildmaster? Haha, of course. You are also my precious guildmate, so be sure to take care of yourself. I hope you'll also be strong for the queen. As weird, why is the border for Balankar Mountains empty? It's sharp contrast since the other boards are full with requests. There is a mountain of missions you can help us with. If you have the time, please drop by the guild to check the available request. Why is the Balankar Mountains bulletin board empty? Well, isn't it obvious? It's because we haven't received any requests from Balankar Mountains. Not a single one? Not one. It seems all the issues are being solved before the requests can even be made. If you'd like, I can guide you to Vernie's Forest or Fesnar Highlands. I'll come back again. Sure, see you then. This who I think it is, the ever famous adventurer. I heard from afar that you had become the Queen's Knight. Though the news of Vergris awaken, awakening turned this village upside down, rumor says that the atmosphere in Vern Castle is even worse. Seeing as how you're here, I guess something is going on. Have there been any problems in Balankar Mountain recently? Balankar Mountains? The only problem there is that they have no problems. The surviving Blanca rangers have been running through the mountains enough to wear out the soles of their shoes. I don't know if you know Pela. Have you met? We met for a second. Aren't you lucky? She doesn't visit the village often. Every day, after all the remaining rangers were wiped out, Pela ran through the Blanca mountains. She defended the mountain as if to repay a death for being the only surviving ranger. It's real too bad. It's a sad thing to live with the death of your comrades on your shoulders. I hope people will remember the death of the Blanca Rangers. This is the first time I've seen something like this. What's it called? It's called Sporkless. Sporkless, yeah, so it's called Sporkless. Even the name is pretty. Do you know how they appeared? I've never seen him before. Only the front of his hair was white. He was wearing nice clothes. They appeared in the place where he passed. Where did that uncle go? That uncle? That way, he went that way. You should be fine now. <laughs> Been a while, successor of the Arks. Shandy told me during my stay at Illusion Bamboo Island that war is looming over the land. Seeing the great wound on the southern, southern sky confirms it. A wound in the sky? Did you see it too? Dokal warned me, saying how it smelled of a battlefield from long ago. That's why we came to this place. Go to Shandi, he's been waiting for you. Brother Wei, we need to get going. 
I'm screwed. It looks like I'll have to travel the entire continent to deliver the old man's stupid message. What? You haven't gone to see the old man yet. Go now. Don't get smacked like I did. Yeah, that's no problem for me. I'm not get your spears in her vein. Oh, it's so warm. I welcome you. I'm sure you've seen the wound in the sky. I summoned you because I have something to give you. Many things have happened over the years, but I don't feel good about what is to come. Close your eyes and focus on the energy I give you. Now, get down and kneel. You did a great job. I have linked a portion of my power to you. This will allow either of us to know right away if something happens to the other. Uh, we don't know what kind of situation we'll come up against, so we need to prepare in advance. Uh, thank you. By all means, this should be enough preparations. In any case, get back to doing what you need to do. I'll do the same. <laughs> Are you heading to Mountain Crack? The path is currently restricted. No! Oh. If I could try and stop me. It seems you've discussed everything with Gideon. Ah, my apologies. Please come in. We've received reports that necromancers have appeared in the mountain pass, so please be careful. Go that way. Harvest their life slowly. We must maximize the sacrifices suffering. How nice. This hourglass seems to be rolling around near a corpse. It must be the guy Gideon told me about. Oh wait, it looks like he's holding his breath. Is he only pretending to be dead? We should burn them so they can't Whoa. resurrect. Whoa, wait. wait! Oh, you're... Ah, uh, howdy. Uh, wait, no. I should introduce myself first. Rerik, my name is Serion. Uh, <coughs> Here's the contract. You must be Rerik. 
I've been eagerly awaiting your arrival. I heard the details from Gideon. I will be your guide. Why were you playing dead? So, um... Actually, a big battle just passed through here. Dozens of adventurers, led by the demon beast hunter Garfield, attacked the ritual site. However, they were all defeated. By the time I got here, it was already... So I prayed to Artress with my whole being. I mean, I did as much as I could. But the necromancers' attack were endless. In the end, even Garfield, as soon as the commander disappeared, everyone just scattered. So I was hiding like this, since this, since this is where we were going to meet up. Fortunately, you weren't too late getting here, Eric. I took measures so we'd be able to track the captured villagers. If we move quickly, we should be able to save them. I'm glad you came. Bear back a sec. Why are you heading toward the center of the ritual site? If you want to save the people, we need to head to the guild and request help. It will be too late. Hmm, as expected, those considered aces are really different after all. Then, while they're extra distracted, I'll head to the village and report the situation. We'll figure it out ourselves. What? Are you sure? But uh, dozens of people tried to fight them and weren't able to. Just trust me. I don't know, no matter how much I think about it, you'd be immediately forfeiting your life. Ah, I hope you're as good as they say. Okay. Find the people. <laughs>
Necromancers. They're exactly the same as 100 years ago. By the looks of it, it seems they're trying to summon a powerful being with the harvested life energy. Based on the size of the ritual, it doesn't look like it will be just any powerful being. But seeing the you fight gave me confidence. How do you fight so well, as expected of a guild's ace? Let's hurry. The bat from earlier flew in that direction. <laughs> Protect them! Kill them. <laughs> the Senate is in control of South Vern. I suggest you stop. <laughs> you are Vern's enemy. Okay, then. Thank you. You defeated Garum all by yourself. First, let's release the villagers, then talk. <laughs> I think we were able to save all the captives. That aside, with such tremendous power, why are you working as an adventurer? <laughs> it's a hobby. What? That's so cool. You're a genuine adventurer. I'm more wa in more ways than one. I'm sorry for not believing in you earlier. I'm not some great hero like you. I'm just an ordinary guide. Man. Had I known you were such an amazing person, I would have invited you to run your village sooner. Haha. -ha. Should we get going? Don't worry about that. There's a road hidden by magic nearby. Just follow me. We've still got a long way to go until we reach the south. <laughs> Let's go.
finally crossed the mountains. From here on is South Vern. There will probably be lots of black knights in each village. It will be best to come up with a suitable disguise. Starting from now, we are toy merchants, understand? Yeah, I look exactly like Stop. a fucking toy merchant. <laughs> We're just simple merchants selling toys for children. Toy. Please, don't be alarmed. Oh dear, aren't they adorable? <laughs> Kids in the town will love it. All right, Wishnell welcomes you. Uh, please visit the village hall before you leave and add your names to the visitors list. Got it. Then I'll let you through. Yeah. Yeah. Our acting was perfect. Shall we get started with our actual task? Let's see. If we take a look at the map, Commander Avell would have been would have most likely passed through here. Around this time, there aren't many outsiders that come and go, so she would have stood out. No, wait a minute. In an area with enemies all over the place, I doubt she would have walked around the neighborhood announcing that she's Avell of the Lunar Knights. Would you happen to have any other clue? <laughs> Rose petal? <laughs> that works. Let's head to the village hall and look up that sophisticated name in the guest book. Of course, before that, we should take our time to look around and get information from the villagers. I see someone we can talk to right over there. <laughs> Rose petal Peresto? That's the first time I'm hearing that name. What uh, does she look like? <laughs> what? What? Why are you looking for such an important Sylvain knight in a place like this? I bet she's living happily with all the other Sylvains at Vern Castle. Since when did they uh, give a hoot about us? Uh, all they did was to send some random adventurers when we asked for protection. They've never even sent a knight here, even though the South pays mo the most taxes. What did the Queen ever do for us? Nothing, that's what. Anyway, you're on a fool's errand. I've never seen that person. Wow. What a gentle person that human was. He just got all worked up, then off you go. Well, that's just how things are in the South, but don't get, be too upset. I played a little trick on him in return. What did you do? I dabbed a little bit of screaming powder that attracted bats on his shirt. For a while, he'll be spending lots of time with Kuko's friend. Then let's split up and gather more information. Rose Petal? Wow, hmm. how do you even get a title? What a ridiculous name. I guess that's to be expected from adventurers. I heard the goblins attacked again. Twenty people have gone missing already. We can rely only on the Black Knights. read the manifesto you could say it's a southerner's determination currently the black knights are what's popular all the young men have joined to protect the village and they're continuing their win streak against the goblins and orcs the senate also spares no expense in supporting and nurturing them into soldiers it will only be a matter of time before the south has the strongest military power in all of Vern. Uh, whoa did you see that that's the might of the southerners uh, let that loose-lipped Campbell know how many youths stand with the knight. For a while now, that spiteful old man was going around raining on everyone's parade. 
Are you, are you a traveler from the outside? Actually, my husband has disappeared. He said he would return after meeting his friends. But villagers have been disappearing for no reason. Also, there are a lot of goblins nearby. I worry he may have been kidnapped by the goblins. I hope he's safe. Could you find him for me? I'll help. Thank you. Thank you so much. He's the only family I have left. I must find him, please. Please look into it and come find me in the village plaza. I'll be waiting. <laughs> I was able to gather information. I found someone who said they saw a, a, an adventurer by the name of Presto leaving the village hall. I have a good feeling about this. We already have a clue about Commander Vell. Also, why are you doing this? So I want. So what I wanted to ask is, what's the deal with Commander Tha Avell? Why are you asking something like that all of a sudden? Ah, uh, that is... I just wanted to know how close you guys are, seeing as how you know her pseudonym and all. <clears throat> how do I think about it? Her Majesty was probably the one who told you, since she was the one that entrusted you with this mission, of course. Seems like I've wasted some time. Shall we get a move on? The Black Knights are very successful. What? I wasn't trying to rain on anyone's parade. I just encourage everyone to work hard. It's uh, not really my style to pick up a sword and run around. The winds of change blowing from the Black Knights is impressive. Uh, as I'm sure you noticed as you passed by, every single vigorous young man has joined the Black Knights. The village won't go into ruin just because I didn't join. <laughs> I know all the rumors in the village. Did you come to me because you were curious about someone's past? I'm looking for clues regarding the disappearances. The disappearances, huh? Ah, you must mean the husband of the woman who is always crying. Even though on the outside he looks like a devoted husband, he was a difficult guy. Ah, wait, that's not important. Well, if, uh, if it's that guy, then from what I know, he is at a creepy place near a village. I saw him and his friends going there. I'll tell you where it is. If you find him, I don't need anything in return. But if you have any exciting rumors about Vern Castle, let me know. <laughs> This guy, where did he go? Yes, he only found broken armor at the place where my husband was rumored to be. I picked up this ring too. This ring? Where did you find it? I found it between the armor that looked like a corpse. Though it couldn't be. No, there's no way. He can't. Thank you for finding the ring. With this gentleman, you'll find the visitor list inside. 
Chief, have you seen a traveler by the name of Rosepetto Peresto? Hmm. I don't think I'd be able to forget a name that unique. That bard named Peresto. I saw him heading toward the ruins. I'm worried the goblins might catch her. There's a collapsed ancient ruin nearby, and all sorts of monsters live there. The goblins are especially aggressive and numerous. They've, been, they've long been a thorn in our side. So many people went missing that we almost abandoned the village a few times. Thankfully, ever since the Black Knights arrived. Hmm. Father! Is it another attack? What about the knights? We sent an advance party. You'll disrupt the plan, so don't go near the ruins. Do you understand? If you ignore this warning, you'll have to face the Black Knight. Damn goblins, we're going to wipe them out once and for all. <laughs> Your son is pretty passionate about this. Please, don't take offense to his youthful spirit. So where were we? Ah, things have gotten much better ever since the Black Knights arrived. They defended our village from the Goblin Assault. And afterwards, we decided we needed to be able to defend ourselves with our own hands. Many youths in the village, including my son, have joined the Black Knights. I think it's a good thing. As you can see, things are going rather smoothly. The Black Knights might be able to help you find Peresto. I suggest you stay here for a few days and wait for more news instead of going out there and putting yourself in danger. So Commander Ravel headed to the ancient ruins a few days ago. It's going pretty well so far, don't you think? Now it's time for an old-fashioned investigation. Let's leave right away, of course. And one thing before we leave. Have you felt strange since you came here? A feeling that something is horribly off. I'm not so sure. Is that so? Then again, I'm not. it may no, not be something you can feel unless you're Sylvain. Sometimes we notice things others don't. Now, shall we continue our journey? Someone, please help. Please help me. What is it? Goblins are camping around our village. More and more children and young women go missing when they leave the village. The village young men organized a militia in order to stop it as best they could. While I was at the village meeting, my daughter and my wife, I don't believe for a second that they were taken by goblins. I believe they're lost in the woods. Not goblins. It can't be goblins. I want to help. Are you serious? Thank you so much. Long live her majesty the queen. Oh, thank Regulus. If it's not much, too much to ask, I made a flyer with a picture of my wife and child. While on your way, if you could post this flyer here and there, just doing that would greatly help.
I guess the Black Knights are protecting the town. Hmm. But why are the goblins acting so aggressively? The holy stones that maintain the barrier in the south should be keeping them docile and suppressed. There must have been a large battle here. It looks like it was done by the goblins that kidnapped the villagers. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, you gotta get that uh, all the details, right? The ones towards the back were cut down by a single stroke. What skill? Or perhaps not. This one was just hacked to pieces. Wait, this one isn't even a blade wound. Maybe a scythe? Based on the wounds left on the goblins, there were at least six knights here. But there are no traces of Commander Ravel. If she was caught up in this battle, then we might be able to find some clues nearby. Should we investigate some more? Where did everyone go? Strange. Where did the people released by the knights go? We should have run into them by now. Hmm. <laughs> My injuries are too much. Oh no. Dear Skeptra. <laughs> <laughs> the Penance Light, the Southerners, all of them, they, they've been tricked. The kidnapping was Black Knights. They're using people's vitality to the Holy Statue, Woodville Village, Ruins. Ugh. Arg. How are you doing? Yeah, not so good, apparently. His breathing has already stopped. What in the world is going on? How could anyone do something so terrible? You must have tried to resist the unjust commands. How dare those black knights pricks. So the only... The ones doing all the kidnapping weren't the goblins, but those bastards. And besides, what did it mean about the holy statue? Why? The holy stone Lacrimosa is a powerful potent stone that supports the barriers of South Vern. If there's a problem with those holy stones, then the barrier... We need to move quickly. We need to find out what the hell is going on. We found the Black Knight's garrison. We have to stop them. His broken black armor has bloodstains.
Any person refusing to comply with this operation will be punished immediately. What are they trying to do? The magic in this area is going crazy. Those bastards. What are they trying to do? There must be something wrong with the holy statue. If the Black Knights put their hands on it, I found something that might be a clue. Isn't this? It's an encrypted parchment. It's enchanted to turn the same color as the ink. I'll try to decode it quickly. Could you open up the parchment next to me? able to see it now. Test subject? Enhanced soldiers? What in the world is going on? First of all, this unidentified Sylvan Traveler. Don't uh, you think it could be Commander Avell? I'm pretty sure that Commander Avell realized the truth and probably went to investigate. Let's get to the Holy Statue and see what's going on. Of course, I know. Damn, damn it. Why is this even here? We must go. Going where? The whole place is covered in bugs. Just walk home. I feel like abandoning the mission. This is a serious threat to my well-being. If you want to give up, you'll need my consent. Ah. Ew, I think I just stepped on one. Why does it make that popping sound? Damn my terrible luck. should be no more, right? Well, now we know for certain that there is something wrong with the holy statue, especially if there are bugs like that coming out of it. Uh, it looks like the surrounding area is also contaminated. Did you see that? Do you think it has something to do with the Black Knights? Commander Avell must have also seen... A terrible situation surrounding the holy statue. I doubt she would have gone, just gone back north, so she's probably still investigating while avoiding the Black Knights. The only place she could be hiding is Woodville Village, so that means we'll need to cross Encavia Road. Come to see me again. Oh, so you saw? Yes, I was there too. Surya's husband was there as well. His only sin was that he caught on too quickly. He should have just acted brainwashed like the others, or at least pretended to sympathize with the Black Knight's ideals. He was selected to be a bio-enhanced soldier and then died while trying to rebel during the mutation process. There wasn't even a body left behind. All I could uh, bring back was the armor. I don't know if Surya would feel better knowing that. I just thought maybe having a keepsake. Just check up on her to see how she's doing. That woman is quick at catching on too. Yeah. 
Sorry, there's nowhere inside. That sounds like a waterfall. It might be time to head back. Incavia Road used to be the lifeline of the South's trade, but it's pretty empty right now. Maybe due to the heavy control. This road preserves the glory of the once great order. A glory that, unfortunately, is long gone. I just remembered something from my past. These statues are like bygone seasons to me. Have you ever heard of the Solar Knights? Yes, I do. You're so knowledgeable. These large statues built on the road are dedicated to the most honorable knights. Though they are now fallen, the legends of the knights still lives along this path. Long ago, you could ask a kid on the street, who do you want to become when you grow up? And they would answer, Knight Commander of the Order of the Sun. The person who passed by earlier is the third Knight Commander, Senatus. They say he once wiped out a necromancer's lair on an island. Can you believe that? And his successor was the one and only. Hmm. Why did you suddenly stop speaking? That, um... Right, that melody just now. The one I was humming earlier. It's actually a military song called The Hymn of the Sun. Would you like to learn it? I will try to learn it. Here, I'll write it down for you. You know how to read the sheet music, right? Please give it a try after the mission. <laughs> We've already come so far. At the end of this road is Woodville Village. I'll go on ahead first and see what's going on in the village. the spirits at Fesner Highland? What brings you here? You want to enter the village? Hmm, unfortunate that that won't be happening. I've been trying to get in just like you, but a group called the Black Knights or, some, or something has blocked off all the roads. Ha, what can I do? If I go back now, all the fruits and grains will go bad. What do I tell the boss? This village... Something big must have happened. And the place is crawling with Black Knights. Wait, what is that scream? We have to save the people. I'll try to draw their attention. Let's head into Woodville Village together. People! It's dangerous! You dirty Woodville traitors. You dare help the Queen's Knight. Catch Look, every the single last one come. of them. We heard about what you did in the last village, how you went around following the rumors trying to search for the kidnapped folk people. If you keep doing that, you'll end up in danger. Those people, I'm sure they don't bleed red. What do you mean? Wait, did you help those people without knowing anything? You're just an idiot with a sense of justice. Well, I guess that explains how you received the Queen's trust. 
<clears throat> the divisional village only have rich people who were tempted with power. They recruited the, pe the people here by saying that they'd move them to Vern Castle, give them jobs and more. However, no one has ever come back, and despite working as an interim contact, I've never heard any news. If you get dragged out there, you just die a dog's death. Forcing those de desperate people to risk their lives by enticing them with hope, I really don't like it. Is there anything I can do? I will tell you the location of the kidnapped villagers. They're probably trapped in the torture devices all throughout the village. Will you check to see if there are any survivors? If you happen to see any black knight walking around, send them to hell. Why can't I go? As I said before, I've already been bought off too many times. Finally decided to enter the south by the order of Satra. Die! The survivors are gathered around the nearby cathedral. Keep them safe for now. Please hurry. There are injured people. I'll keep them at bay. Quickly. <laughs> Damn it. I'm so scared. The protection magic will keep us safe. Don't worry, my child. I hope the Grand Secretary is safe. Yeah. 
that servant. He said the manor was attacked. How can we ever repay this? Hey you, have you gone to Vern Castle? I heard the atmosphere out there isn't great. Could you tell me how things are? I'm not interested in what happens to most people. But I mean, shouldn't the humans be dutiful to their fellow humans? Um, in any case, I'm telling you this since you helped us. No need to keep side-eyeing me. I don't know about other people, but if Lord Higer asks the Queen for help, he is someone we should, she would help. But uh, he doesn't seem sane these days. What the hell is going on in Vern? What about Higer? Lord Higer, what do you want to know? I guess uh, you wouldn't really know much about South Vern, since you're curious. I'll explain it to you. Lord Higer, despite being from noble family, was very kind to the villagers. I've heard that he has a very young daughter. There was a lot of talk about her being gravely ill and that she was faking being sick. Or that she was faking being sick. I've only heard that through rumors though. I'm sure one of the villagers will know something. Ah, the nanny who worked at Lord Higer's manor is here. I'm sure if you ask around, you'll be able to meet her. I stayed behind because I wanted to hear some news regarding the royal palace, but you don't know much. Those who can walk here walk have already followed the village chief and left. I'll gather the remaining people and leave soon. Before we go, you should ask some of the stragglers. How can we ever repay this? Yes, I'm the nanny at Lord Hager's manor, but you need information regarding his daughter. Ah, you must mean Miss Lily. Lord Hager loves his daughter terribly. He used to compare Miss Lily to a baby angel. Unfortunately, I've been told she's battling sickness. That's unfortunate. Lord Hager built an angel statue that looks exactly like Miss Lily. He probably meant for them to come visit once she recovered. He's a very kind person. I remember having such a statue in our village. Take a look around this area. It's lovely, just like Miss Lily. I'll go look for it. That's a good idea. I'll stay here and pray a little more for Miss Lily and Lord Higer. If you have any further questions, please come and ask. How can we ever repay them? Please help your allies on the outside with protective magic. Uh, we were on the verge of being discovered. We were lucky. If we su survive today, it will be thanks to you two. Is there any way I can help? All right, I think your companion was looking for someone. De Rosa's, De Rosa's name, Peresto. Yes, that's the name. I'll ask around. Have you seen a traveler called Rose Petal Peresto? I've seen her. I think Peresto went in the direction of Grand Secretary Higer's manor. Oh, so the thing is, one of the Grand Secretary's servants was running around the village screaming that the Black Knights had attacked the manor. The Black Knights attacking a senator, ha. Huh. Uh, isn't that just like the hand standing up to the head? We all just told him to shut up. Peresto quietly stood up and left the store. She took off s towards the Grand Secretary Higer's manor. Higer man, Commander Ravel headed there? I need to first evacuate the villagers and then follow her. I use the cathedral's protection magic to prepare large-scale invisibility magic. The problem is, the magic may not last long enough. Ririk, could you give me a hand? Yep. Well, then, first of all, place this, uh, please place a soundstone in front of the altar over there. Since I'm not a great mage, if there are soul stones, I might be able to use them to make up for the insufficient magic. Are you ready? Then I'll get started right away. Alright. The villagers should be safe now. Shall we join up at Triport?
and warm yourself up first. Grand Secretary was attacked by the Black Knight? I'd heard that the Senator's Senate's infighting was severe, but to attack someone on their own side. I also heard Higer was the head of the pro-Queen faction. Do you think that's the reason why? Alien needs to know about this situation, but how will we report this to Her Majesty the Queen? Here's what happens with the Hependant. Is that possible? Really, Her Majesty, your status is something I can't even begin to imagine. Or prepare the communication magic. Take a breather near the bonfire. Preparations are done. Let's get started. Look, the rod seems to be reacting to my pen. Can you even hear my voice? Eric? It's been so long since I've heard Her Majesty's voice. Huh? Why is it acting like this? Based on the magic flow on the pendant, she must be calculating the coordinates. What's wrong with this? It's not broken, so what's the problem? Hmm. It seems that someone has deployed a magic field that interferes with communication. This must be why Commander Avell's contact has been lost. Still, I think I can do this with my power. Oh, okay, here we go. It's not working. What? I'm sorry, I thought it would work. I just don't have enough magic power. Ah, that's right. There are quite a lot of artificial forest keepers made of magic crystals here. We should swipe some. Let's see. I think this will do. Could you wait a moment? What a great success! Oh, I can hear you clearly now. To be able to restore the communication magic so quickly, you must be traveling with a very capable mage. Ririk, are you hurt? What a relief. So have you found the well? Her Majesty the Queen praised me. Chill out, dude. If that's the case, both Avel and Hyger are in trouble. Hyger has always been exceptionally loyal to me. If he's disrupting their plans, the Senate may try to kill him. Uh, but just what is the Senate's goal? To go this far to achieve it? I must prepare for the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario? 
The barrier in the south is becoming increasingly unstable. The ominous soundstone you saw in Woodville Village is also weighing heavily on my mind. In the past, the Senella Sylvains committed the sin of experimenting using life as a magic source. I think the characteristics of the soundstone you're telling me about is similar. Avell and Heiger, please take care of those two. And the situation with the Senate, keep, on, keep an eye on it. I can feel Her Majesty's trust in you. I envy you. Your magic is great too. Really, my magic too. Of course, when push comes to shove, I can do it. I still have loads of magic, I still haven't showed you. I can make it rain too. Well, it takes a long time and the probability is low. I can also teleport other people. Then I'll teleport you right into the manor. Ah, so when it comes to teleportation, if the distance increases even just by a speck, magic consumption increases exponentially. Going too far is a bit out of my magic range. I also carry this hourglass around for that reason. If it's just you, Rerek, then I think I can try, but I won't be able to use magic again for a while after, if that's okay with you then. Don't do that, heh. Shall we head to Heiger Manor now? Let's go find Commander Avell and the Grand Secretary together. In order to break through the valley's defenses, Commander Avell wasted a lot of time, but we won't need to do that. I have a great idea. Could you place your hand on this? Are you feeling dizzy? I dug into the ground with magic. This magic was actually pretty coveted by the society, you know. Since our retreat might be blocked, I think we should destroy the watchtowers. Good. We've arrived safely. Good. We've arrived safely. From here on out, we won't have to be so careful. It's strange, though. The center towers look normal, considering they were just attacked. I guess for now, we should keep going. Quiet. A little too quiet. Why haven't we seen any Black Knights? I'm getting a bad feeling about this, but I guess our only choice is to keep moving forward. Alright then, how about you take the lead? I'll uh, watch our backs from behind. We'll always be together. Of course, leave the back to me. What the fuck is this kind of conversation? Be back. Yes, Bjorn, what's up?
Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I I made it so that you don't have to get uh, permission to join. Uh, if you go to the guild section later and just uh, find the guild, uh, you should be able to just join it straight up. Just to make it easy, I mean, yeah, maybe that's a bad idea, I don't know, but uh, since since I don't, uh, I haven't uh, put like a limit that you have to be like tier 3 or anything, uh, so yeah. I figured just let everyone join. And then when we actually have leveled up the guild and can actually recruit properly, then we can uh, yeah, le recruit high levels to play with. That was the plan at least. But I think it's gonna be super hard to recruit people unless we like level up the guild first. So yeah, that's the goal right now. They're all dead. This was probably all done by Commander Avell, right? Hmm. This is something I really don't understand anymore. Didn't the Woodville uh, village people say Hyger was attacked by the Black Knights? But this looks as if the Knights didn't attack the manor, rather that they fell defending it. There's not much out of place either. What's going on? I don't think the Woodville Village's people lied. Oh, wait! <sighs> Commander Avell! here. I am here to save your ass. What? Her Majesty sent you? Let me explain the situation. So you roughly know the situation. Yes, while staying at Woodville, after hearing the man who was attacked, I came to rescue Hyger. But when I arrived, it was all too quiet. I couldn't find any signs of an attack. What is Hyger up to? He seemed like a moderate person. I think we'll be able to find out what happened only after meeting the Grand Secretary in person. Intruder! Ah! Tiger, you!
I'm sorry, Commander. The Senator has made his decision. There's no turning back now. I don't know what they're up to, but... I had no choice but to follow. Grant your wish is promised. Dad? <gasps> Lily. <laughs> 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 for our plan. <laughs> well, fuck that straight up. Since you're from Shushire, I suppose you know about the prison situation there. I'm not thrilled to be at odds with someone of your talent. Commander Avell and the guides. Guide are both from Bern, so it's expected, but you're not. As well, make you an offer you can't pass up. Why don't you leave Queen Aelin and join us? <laughs> are you joking? Is that so? Fine, fine, just as expected. You waste your breath, Alberto. Deputy Speaker, if we can get them to join us, they'll be of great help for the plan. <laughs> Serves you right, Commander Avell. Satra, you better pray this door never opens. I have no idea why Carmine is keeping you alive. I'm too tired to jump around a lot, so I'm gonna go uh, to the store soon also. If you manage to hold on to your pathetic lives, I will come to know that the Senate, Senate is who saved Vern. The fall of Arcacia is unavoidable. Must Vern also be destroyed? No, of course not. We must survive, even if it means working with demons. Why can't you understand this? <coughs> <clears throat> Deputy Speaker, let's leave. Anyway, when do you think we can enter Realvar? Not until we finish the ritual. It's impossible with just strength. Oh no, what should we do? His prison is enchanted with ancient sylvan magi magic. As you can see, the door has no lock mechanism. The magic distorts the space itself to prevent the prison from interacting with the prison door. Be it physical or magical, we can't touch that door. They must also know this, since they put us in here without even taking away our weapons. <laughs> 